Okay, so I'm sitting out here uh, in the middle of a field, and uh, part of my job, uh, I, of course, I run BCC hardware, and also I uh, farm, and part of our interesting technology they get to play with is auto steer, uh, GPS-enabled auto steer on a tractor. As you'll see back there, uh, we've got a tractor pulling a cedar, and if you look closely, even though it's a little loud, you can see that it's not, there's nobody on the tractor. And uh, it's going to get a little bit loud for a second, but we're going to hop on and I'm going to show you what's up with that tractor. Okay, not quite so loud. Uh, we're here in the tractor, kind of the control center here, and uh, there's several systems that that make this work out, and uh, first one, of course, is the uh, GPS unit right there. Um, that's just kind of a, a display showing uh, what I've done in the field uh, and where I am in the line I'm following, and uh, then we've got the cedar control, and uh, really down there, on the far is the brain of the uh, auto steer, and also what is turning the wheel of the tractor that is running you know, doing the driving for me is this uh, steering modular unit. And of course, we've got a uh, closed circuit TV camera to the rear of the unit so we can see if anything is going haywire. Uh, what's neat about this is as as you are driving on different uh, land that's, that's rolling and that sort of thing, with a GPS mounted on the roof of the tractor, uh, it can actually drive you off the line. So what there is down in here, there's, there's uh, I guess there's really there's accelerometers in that base unit, much like in an iPhone uh, or in a uh, smartphone like an HTC. And what that does, that tells the system if there's a pitch or roll or yaw on the tractor and then compensates so that you're always steering straight down that line. As you can see back there, um, there is zero inches of overlap. Uh, I've programmed this thing is so precise it can, it can do about a three inch it's accurate within three inches, so I have it set so that there is absolutely no overlap. And uh, so really all i got to do here at the end of the field is turn around by manually. I have to do that. I engage auto steer, and then I sit back, hold my arms, listen to some audio books, something like that, some audible or on my Zoom, and uh, that's, that's the day. That's uh, farming, and a lot of people think it's kind of... A hip operation, uh, not really very high technology, but as you can see, I don't even have to drive my own tractor, it can, just, it can drive itself, that's pretty cool.